Good day everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel! Before we start our lesson, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And also click the notification bell so that you will be updated every time I upload my video. There you go guys, let's start! So the lesson for today is the farm tools and equipment. In this lesson, you are expected to learn how to identify farm tools and equipment and conduct pre-operation checkup in line with manufacturer's manual. Farm tools and equipment play a very important role in every farm practice and operation. Hence, a lesson you should be able to know, identify, and learn the uses to become a successful farmer someday. Hand tools are the most simple, light tools. They are used with your bare hands in performing farm operation in small area in your vegetable garden in the house and in the small garden area in school. The first hand tool is the hand fork. Resembles with appearance of fork with sharp tines, uses for weeding and mixing additives into the soil. Number two, the hand cultivator. Used for loosening the soil, cultivating the and removing weeds in the garden plot. Number three, hand trowel. Tool used for digging, loosening soil, and transplanting seeds or seedlings. Number four, spading fork. A tool with a long handle used for digging out crops. Number five, shovel. Used for lifting, digging, and mixing soil. Number six, spade. Used for loosening or digging soil with a sharp and flat edge. Number seven, grub hoe. Used for breaking hard topsoil and pulverizing soil. Number 8, Crowbar, used for digging big holes and big stones and stumps. Number 9, Pick Mattock, tool with a transverse blade head at one end and a pointed head at the other. Number 10, Dibbler, a tool used for making holes in the soil for planting seeds. Number 11, Bolo, used for cutting tall grasses and cutting branches of trees. Number 12, Knives, used for grafting, marketing, budding, or cutting potting teas. Number 13, Sickle, used for harvesting grains with a curved blade. Number 14, Pruning Shears. Used for twigs and leaves and cutting small branches of plants. Number 15, Axe. Used to cut and split bigger posts. Number 16, Wheelbarrow. Hand propelled vehicle used for hauling manure, fertilizers, and planting materials. Number 17, Sprinkler used for watering the plants. Number 18, Sprayer, used for apl applying herbicides, pesticides, and fertilizers. And number 19, Pail Container, used for hauling chemical fertilizers and even water. And lastly, number 20, Rake, used for gathering leaves and leveling the soil. So that is all the hand tools, let's go with the farm implements. Accessories are pulled by working animals or mounted machineries like tractor, hand tractor, used in preparation of the farm, usually made of a special kind of metal, which is the farm implements. Number one, plow. Pulled by working animal or a tractor. It is used for tilling large areas of land, making furrows and row cultivation. So these are the two plows, two kinds of plows. 
Letter A, the native flow. And letter B, the disk flow. Number 2, harrow. Used for tilling and pulverizing the soil, pulled up by a carabao or mounted to a tractor. Wooden harrow is made of wood with metal seat and this harrow is mounted to a tractor. These are the two kinds of harrows. A. The native harrow and B. The disc harrow. Rotavator. Mounted to a tractor used for tilling and pulverizing the soil. Let's go with the farm machinery. La number one, combined harvester. Economical machine used for harvesting grain crops, a combination of reaping, threshing, and winnowing. Number two, hand tractor. Used to pull a plow and a harrow in preparing large area of land. Number four, four wheel tractors. Used to pull this plow and this harrow, preparing much bigger area of land. How to clean your tools and equipment. Start the basics for cleaning your shovel, spade, gravo or even sharpening the blades of the edge to knock down rust. It is a nice idea to keep sharp blade to cut all the soil better. Number one, try to use the whetstone to keep all the cutting tool edge honed. Try to find a way to stabilize the tool that you want to work on. Bench bias is ideal. You can clamp the tools into place at an angle. Clamping the tool into place with the vice free both of your hands to use the stone and give you control of what you are doing. Number two, apply a little bit of lubricating oil and begin to work the stone over the blade. Maintain a 30 degree angle between stone and the blade. You are not only sharpening the blade but also removing the rust that form at the edge of their tool's blade. Number three, clean rust and dirt to all metal surface with a wire brush. Remove rust from the small tools with fine steel wool. Use old toothbrush with lubricating oil. It's a great work to fresh oil into the joints. Use medium grit sandpaper to remove rust on larger tools like shovel, spade, and hose. Once your tools clean, they are ready to be sharpened. Use whetstone for the pruners because of the very sharp cutting edge. Apply a few drops of oil or water to the stone. When sharpening a file, do not use oil. Metal fillings will accumulate and clog the file. Farm implements like ordinary plow or wooden harrow should be checked before use. Loosen bolts and nuts, nuts should be lightened firmly. This plow and this harrow should be lubricated also in their moving parts like bearings. Tractors should be tuned up very well by skilled operator. Always check the lubricant, fuel, oil, and cooling systems. Tools that are worn out should be separated and to be fixed to avoid accident. How to maintain farm tools and equipments? First, sharpen tool before after in use. Oil or grease metal parts. Wooden handles should be strong. Hang your garden tools. Store tools in the original cases. Use silica gel packs. Dry tools after use. Farm tools and equipments and implements must be regularly checked to prolong their useful life, to use them efficiently, to save time and effort and these are the materials in sharpening the tools whetstone sandpaper oil or water <music>